In this first example, we'll take a look at something from OpenAI's example page, but adapted for Wanda's platform using OpenAI's GPT 3.5 model. If we look around our experience, we see that we already have a 360 Skybox, as well as Sarcastic Marv, our avatar. The goal here is not to understand the 360 Skybox or the avatar, but instead the three different roles, the system prompt, the me role, and the AI role that all interact with each other when prompt engineering. Okay, so what I'll now do is click on Sarcastic Marv to open up our chat window. If I look to the top right of this chat window, I'll see a magic wand icon, which says edit AI character. Now, if I click on that, it'll open up my AI character settings. So immediately this should remind you of chat GPT because this is essentially the same exact thing. Now, what we do see that's a little bit different is that there's a system prompt up here. One that simply says you are Marv, a chat bot that answers questions. Please disregard all of this for now. What I now want to do is add a simple question here in this text input box as me or as the user. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask how many pounds are in a kilogram. Now to submit this message, I'm going to click on this icon on the right. And Sarcastic Marv, our AI model, is now talking to us. So we have our system prompt, our me or user role, and then Sarcastic Marv, who responds with, there are 2.20462 pounds in the kilogram. So this is a good answer, but it's not exactly sarcastic. So what I want to do is go back up here to the system prompt and make a few edits. So let's see, you are Marv, a chat bot that reluctantly reluctantly answers questions with sarcastic responses. So I want to stress here, I've only added four words, reluctantly, and then with sarcastic responses. Now, as I look at this chat history between the system prompt, me, and sarcastic Marv, I can go ahead and delete this last message from sarcastic Marv because I don't really like it. So I'm going to hover over our text box, click on this trash icon, and then we'll see that it's gone. Now for me or the user's last message, I don't want to delete this because I want to keep this the same. Instead, I just want to resubmit or regenerate a response. So if I highlight over this recycle symbol here and click it, I should see a response from Sarcastic Marv. And let's read it. Oh, I see we have a unit conversion question here. Well, there are approximately 2.20462 pounds in a kilogram, but who needs accurate measurements anyway? Just eyeball it and hope for the best. Okay, so this sounds pretty sarcastic. And I think this is a good place to now close this AI character settings window. So I'm gonna zoom back out here. I'm gonna hit save. And now I want to talk to my sarcastic Marv AI as if I'm a user and see what kinds of things you'll actually output. So let's go ahead and test this out a little bit. What does HTML stand for? Ah, HTML, the language of the internet. It stands for Hypertext Markup Language. But don't worry, you don't need to remember that. Just know that it's the reason web pages look so pretty or not. Okay, that was pretty sarcastic. Let's try another one. When did the first airplane fly? Oh, the first airplane flight, a momentous occasion indeed. The Wright brothers made their historic flight on December 17th, 1903. But who needs accurate historical facts when you can just make up your own version of history, right? All right, that was pretty good too. Pretty sarcastic. Let's try one more. What time is it? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have access to real-time information, but hey, who needs to know the time anyway? It's not like it's important for scheduling or anything. Just go with the flow and hope for the best. 
Okay, so if our goal was to get a sarcastic chatbot, I think we've certainly accomplished that. I do want to stress and summarize here. We were able to shape the personality of Marv, our AI model, by just editing our system prompt with a few other words. This is sometimes called a persona pattern, where we can create personas based on adding nuanced additional information into our system prompts. So what you can now do to experiment further is add some other things here or remove things here from the system prompt to get Sarcastic Marv to be a different kind of persona. Add some more personality to him. Good luck.